Hello, right here, as you see, this is a Blue Lock League talent tier list. So I'm going to be ranking each talent by their ranks. And this is actually right after the second release. So things are a bit different. And hopefully this helps you. And sorry if I'm a bit awkward. This is my first time recording a video using my voice. So... Hopefully it won't be too awkward. I don't know, but let's go. Disclaimer, if you think anything in this series is wrong, just tell me in the comments so I can know for next time. It would help a lot and I could see what your opinion is on it. Also, I say I'm a pretty reliable source. I've played the game since the first day it came out. I've used almost every talent. So I'd say I have a pretty good opinion on these. So here we got god tier really good good pretty good meh bad and please do not use this all right first talent is big bang drive now i'm gonna be honest i have a bias for this i really like this honestly i think it's i think it's kaiser impact but a common it's really easy to get it's not even that hard to use really unsavable for goalkeepers so i'm going to put this at really good for now top of really good i think this is speedster i it's a bit broken and these are going to be a bit broken so i'm going to probably have to like recheck these but i'm gonna guess this is beaster i'm gonna put it at good because i know i heard a lot of people say it's good so yeah and uh i think this is beast star so um that's good i i think it's really good people it's just like an overall really good move on ball and off ball so yeah really good actually i'm gonna put it right here for now god speed blitz i'm just gonna put it at god tier i think we all know why it's god tier i mean it's really just um lightning dribble but better gets you extremely far it's just so good on and off ball really decent really good i have it i could be a little biased i don't know for me what you think okay next is indomino will i'm gonna be honest i feel like before the uh, before update one people would use this as a spam tackle and that would be like extremely op but now for sure they nerfed it so it's not even that good anymore i'm gonna put it probably at the top of meh longer lie. and okay viper's coil i'm just gonna put this up please do not use this i mean there's really no point where you could just get the bouncy archetype which is basically getting the exact same height as viper's coil so yeah that's pretty much it but i have i've seen people do stuff with Viper's Coil and Aerial Trap, that's pretty cool, but they, I, I haven't seen that in a long time, and not that useful anyway, it just looks cool. Alright, next is King Spear, I just looked at it, double checked, and it is King Spear, so I feel like it's actually like pretty good from what I've seen, it's really solid. Oh yeah, I'll put it pretty good, it's, from what I've seen, it's really solid. That's the job done. And next is stalking, and I'm not gonna lie, this could be from my experience. I don't really see stalking that useful. I could be completely wrong, but I don't know. There's just better defensive moves. I appreciate sure defensive. Yeah, there's better defensive moves out there that you can use. I don't really see how it's that. Good. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna put this at meh. 
Yeah, but above and down a little. Alright, if I'm correct, this is disorder. I'm sorry guys for this being messed up. It shouldn't really be like this. But this is disorder, I'm, I'm almost certain. And disorder, I'm I just gotta put up here, dude. Disorder is insanely good. If you if you have disorder, everyone in the server is gonna hate you, except your teammates. Your team is gonna love you. But disorder is just so good. The people you use it on cannot do a single thing except just probably get close to someone and pass or dribble it out. From what I've seen, I haven't seen any workarounds around it yet. Could be wrong. But yeah, it's just god tier defensive move. If you're a defender, I would highly recommend getting disorder. It is just insanely good. Alright, next, I think this is Emperor I. Now, Emperor I is really good. I, I just think it's a really solid move for defenders. You can't really do anything about it. If you're dribbling, they use Emperor I. You're just gonna have to run away because you're gonna get the ball stolen most of the time. So I think this is pretty good. I'm gonna put it up here next to Speed Star. Okay, next is Aerial Trap. Aerial Trap. Honestly, I this one is it can if you can use this well. I've seen people use it really well, and it can be like really useful. It can be really good. Well, not really good, but pretty good. So, I think I'm gonna put this at pretty good. I think that's a good place for this, but it's, it's gonna probably be the bottom of pretty good. Really, it's not that, it's not the best. So, yeah, I think this is a good spot for it. Can we strike? Why is this even in the game? Please, if you see this reroll on site, this is really the most useless talent in the game. I, there's no use to it at all. It's actually awful. Marshall lift. This is pretty good. Actually, I'm gonna put it at low good. This is. It's pretty counterable, I'm not gonna lie. You have to be unpredictable with it. But you can definitely is good for mobility. And yeah, honestly I think it deserves a spot right here. And I think this is drag scissors. Yeah, drag scissors. Drag scissors is definitely I'm gonna put it um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it here. I think that's a good spot. Actually, not. Jack Scissors are good. It's better, in my opinion. Jack Scissors is really good for easily getting by opponents. Really easy too. You can't really stop it unless you time your tackle correctly. I think it's a really good move. Okay, lightning jibble really good it's really just Godspeed blitz let me put this right here really just Godspeed blitz but um a little bit worse if you have this and you're a beginner i would not spin this this is extremely good it's so easy to get past people it can be unpredictable with it it's just so good overall decent okay Next we have Juggernaut. I I won't really say this is that good. Not really. From what I've seen, not I have really barely seen people use this. There's better solution there's better stuff you can use. If what I remember, it's an on ball thing. I think it's on ball. And Wild Sense is definitely better. I mean, even though it's a legendary, Wild Sense is better. But Juggernaut, it's it's okay. I'm gonna put it at meh. Pro probably high meh. Maybe like like in between here. Yeah. Creative Trapping. Now, 
previously before release it was it was good but it had some bugs it was a little bit lanky to use not that good but now after the update i'm gonna have to put it bottom god tier you can actually do so much more stuff with it the ball doesn't roll off you it actually sticks to you this time you can be so incredibly unpredictable and destroy defenders with this so easy to confuse the whole entire team you can get past people good for mobility it's just all around really good i used to have this but i spun it pinpoint precision i'm just gonna put this at really good i mean is there really any explanation best for midfielders just automatic pass right to your teammate it's just so good really um yep. next solar planets i mean do i really have to say anything like come on this is just awful horrible harmony this is har i think it's harmony now harmony is oh. I'm gonna put it. I'm thinking in between here, but um, honestly, I'm gonna have to put this right here. It's just so overpowered. It boosts your whole team, gives them speed boost and stamina boost. I think it's just extremely good overall. And, um, I mean, there's really not nothing else to say to it. It's just extremely good. I'd recommend this if you're a midfielder. Maybe, probably, striker, too. I feel like anyone can really actually have this. M more towards midfielders and probably strikers. But, yeah. Okay, this is... Jack of all trades, I'm pretty sure. I'm just gonna put this at bad. It's... I spawned with it and i was confused what it did supposedly it's supposed to buff all our stats by like a random number if i'm not wrong i could be wrong by that i i think it needs a buff i'm not gonna lie it's pretty useless any other talent can really be better i mean if you have harmony harmony is better and it, it's a probably a better version of this and it boosts your whole team so yeah I'll, I'll put that bad okay copycat i'm gonna be really biased with this because this is my main and i'm just gonna say right here top of god here best talent in the game you can argue with me if you want really it's just I mean, you could gosh be bliss with this. You can't disorder, sadly. You can creative trap with this. You can Kaiser Impact with this. You can do literally anything with this. It, I mean, not anything. You can't do unorthodox and defensive, but it's just so good. If you use this skillfully, it's like a really skillful move. You have to. It's hard while you're dribbling, really hard but it's pretty hard to use i'm not gonna lie i had to get used to it for a long time and it's i recommend this a lot if you're up for the challenge it's really fun to use too if you're bored of just kaiser impact or anything cheats i recommend using this it's really fun to use a bit of a challenge okay i'm not gonna lie i'm gonna skip this because no clue what it is i'll go back to it at the end this is wild sense and wild sense is extremely broken you can dodge any tackle i don't i think it's like i could be wrong i think it's like two tackles but it could be any tackle while it lasts and it's just really broken overall i recommend Honestly, yeah, I mean, I'm going to put this at 
right here. Put that right there. It's it's a bit broken. People, some people are dumb when they use it. Some people are really smart when they when they use it. Depends on the user, but really good overall. Really really good. And now we have rip patch shot. Rip patch shot. It really. I feel like it's not even that good. It's it's fun to use. Don't get me wrong, but honestly, I don't really. I don't know. It's it won't even go on the goal sometimes. Even if you have like a really good shot, you have to be good with curves first. You have to aim it at the right area to get it to curve at the spot you want. I'm gonna put this at meh papa meh seems good okay this is the volley thing um fake volley thing that's what's called it is extremely good i'm gonna put this at i'm gonna put this like right here really 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 good especially for a legendary i mean not legendary i, I don't know what rarity that is below legendary i would think this should be legendary because it's really good especially now that actual goalies you can actually play as a goalie it's going to be extremely useful and comp so i think people are going to start using that a lot up in the ranks so i'm going to put it right here i'm expecting to see that a lot in comp and people i feel like defenders especially are able to read it more the more the days go on the more people are able to read it but that doesn't mean it's still bad. I mean, that's just people that probably have played the game for longer and know what the talent does. Even if a person knows what the talent does, it's still pretty confusing to other people. It confuses the goalkeeper, confuses defenders. I think it's really good if you have this and you don't have any other good shooting, you should definitely keep it. All right, now we are on to Kaiser Impact. Kaiser Impact. Okay, so I'm just gonna be honest. This hurts a lot, but it is definitely a god tier. And yeah, I, I'm just gonna put a god tier. I mean, I think people know why. You can't really miss with it unless you're like really bad. I mean, I've seen a lot of people miss with it. But after the nerf, it's gone down and i'd say yeah just extremely good it's obviously annoying for people to use but you know it's it's i mean we all know why they use it it's annoyingly good basically a free goal and um yep victory path i mean come on why is this even a thing not even that good i'm not i mean it's like it's better than these i'm gonna be honest i'm gonna put it here i'm gonna put this like right here then yeah, yeah okay diving header i've seen people use this pretty well i'm not gonna lie for mobility and defending i, th I think i've seen people like steal the ball from it steal the ball with it and really good for mobility i'm not gonna lie I'm gonna put this at pretty good. I think that's a good spot. Last one. Okay, I figured out I figured out what this was. This is direct shot. And I'm not gonna lie, direct shot is extremely good. It's I'm gonna put it right here. This is really good. I've seen people use this extremely well and the common thing people do is use it bounce it to themselves off the wall and shoot it that's probably the most effective way to do it but i mean also passing with it not with it but receiving a pass and then using direct shot is always extremely good this is a ex really really good overall shot i think it's underrated too not many people use it because it's pretty hard to use it's one of the harder talents to use and master i i want to see more of this 
it's really good. And yep, that's basically it. Okay, last one. I figured out what this is. This is Shadow Steps. And I'm not gonna lie, I have not seen Shadow Steps in a long, long time. This, this, this is just a rare sighting to see in game. People usually roll it because I mean it's really not that useful. When the game came out, it was everyone was dumb. Every, nobody knew what the talents did, so it was good when the game actually came out. But I feel like it's less effective now that people know what the talent does. But it, I'm not saying it's bad. People can be really good with this. I've seen some extremely good people make use of this. It's really unpredictable for defenders. And I'm gonna put it at... I'm gonna put it here at meh. But if you use it well, it can probably bump up to pretty good. You just have to know how to use it really well to trick the defenders. This is my full tier list. This is all my opinion, but I'm going to um, order this. I'm going to order every single one of these tiers by their talents. The top of the tiers are going to be the best. The worst are going to be the last. I think you know what I'm doing here, so I'm going to do this real quick and I'll show you guys where the most precise ranking I can give for you. So I'll be back. I'll finish doing this. And here we go. Okay, this is the dated list of my tier list. And I hope this helped you guys because took me some took me some time to make a tier list and also make the video. And um yeah. You don't have to subscribe but it would help me a lot and i'm probably going to be hopefully posting more blue lock league content soon and i hope you guys have a good rest of your day